All right, so welcome back to White House Farm. We're gonna show you how to troubleshoot and take apart your uh, whole house uh, hot oil furnace and wait till you see what we found with this one and why it wasn't firing and working. Okay, we are changing the primary oil filter off the bottom of the oil tank, the 275 gallon oil tank. Alright, so that's the secondary filter? Yes, yeah, there we go. What, so what, what were you talking about over here? Like what, what do you do over here? What you do is, um... For bleeding it? Um, or, yeah, you bleed it here. But he's already bled it, we don't want to kick these over. And that just gets the air out? Yes. What you do is, is you loosen just this. Loosen that one up? Yeah, actually let's just do it. He's already got loose. All right, see, we got oil to the burner. Yeah. So we know we have oil to the burner. Yeah. So this should be ready to fire. Okay. And if it fires, it'll. Uh, I won't. I don't think I'll have to change the no nozzle. I notice this big snake skin. Yeah, there's snake skin. And we look over there. there. That's a good there he is. Look at that big in? guy over in the corner. Can you yeah. zoom in? Oh yeah. Cool. Oh, he's cool looking. Yeah. Big old milk snake. All right, so now they're going to turn it on upstairs. We're going to see if this fire is up. What does that do? That's the reset. Okay. It's trial for ignition. That's what they call it, trial for ignition. So there's a there's a cat cell eye in there. Yeah, there's a cat cell eye in there. Oh, I hear. Yep. Oh, shut off. That's it. Turn it It sounds like it's calling for fuel. Yeah. Yeah. If that guy came here and just stuck him with the air, get that air mixture, and you know what happens with those air mixtures? Screw it up. Yes. Carbon it up. Oh, yeah. And you know what that means? Oh, it just blew up. Oh, look at it. It's all over here. Yep. Bunch of carbon. Yep. Oh, it sounds like it's running now, though. Well, it's not shutting off. Oh. Smoke too soon. Yeah, but you know, when you see carbon like that, yeah, that's not good. The air is not right. So that means, see how they got all this shit on here? Yeah. You, you got to be able to get to the, uh, the sections, boiler sections, because right now, you got to get a wire brush, and you got to go like, it's a dirty job. Yeah. And you got to get all that soot out between the, So actually, I think the inside is all carboned up because the air mixture wasn't right. Yeah. And now um, this has to be taken apart and, and it has to be cleaned in between the boiler section with a brush. Yeah, op uh, open and, it and up. vacuum it out with that vacuum unit that you have. Yeah. Because um, right now, um, it's all carboned up inside and... Yeah, you can see it blown see, all this, off. This is supposed to... There we go. There we go. That's more like... See, I got draft there. Yeah. I could feel it. What I do is I I'll, sometimes I'll light a match or just a lighter. Yeah, and make sure that it sucks so we, the... Right now I can feel the draw. Yeah. So I know the chimney's clear. Yep. But the boiler's plugged up with soot. Okay. And I don't think it's going to fire. Boiler section.
So that's where you adjust your air, right yeah. there? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's a set screw. Okay. Yeah. Less oh, air or more? Less air, less air. Like so right. That's just right above zero. That's in between half and zero. That's at one. Where did we start? Uh, one notch past one. Okay. Okay. seconds before you can push that button again. <clears throat> the thing is, you don't want to be pushing the button a lot. If it is pumping air and you're not getting any spark, and you keep on hitting that button, you're going to fill that chamber with oil, and then you get a minor explosion. So you don't want to keep pushing that button. But I don't know if, um, if the now if the now it seems like the nozzle is plugged to me. You know, you get, that nozzle has, um, if the filters were dirty, they ran low, and that went into the, into the pump and out the tube. Um, I wish I had the nozzle. I just changed the nozzle. That's the next thing I would do. But you know what I got to do? I got to shut the power off. Can you um take those two screws out? <clears throat> well, actually, DJ, look at that's on here, right here. That's what you do. Okay. Oh, so, so that should pull back. Is there one on the, there we go, pull that back. Pull that, all right. Okay. okay. Yeah, so this is your electrodes. Okay. At the end of the electrodes, the, the electrodes go down like this. Yeah. And then the nozzles at the end. And when the oil comes out, it atomizes. Yep. Like that, and it sprays, and it fires. And then there's a CAD cell eye in there, an eye. That says, okay, I got a flame, I'm gonna keep running. But if it doesn't see a flame, it, it trips out. All right. Now, the when we started it before, it seemed like it ran longer. Yeah. Okay. So maybe you want to bring this up to one? Want to try it at one? Because right now it's between zero and half, so it's in between. Let me just get that face over here. Boy, that just seems like a lot of air. You know, we could try giving it. I don't want to give it more air, but I'm going to try giving it less air. I can put this back together, though. Well, with more air, it fired. We gave it less air this time, it, it didn't fire. Okay. So okay. what I'm saying is, like, we'll... Go and, back. Go, we'll... Go back to where we were and, and give it more air? No, 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 no. We're going to... It was at... It was over one... It was one and one dash. Yeah. Right now, we're in, be, we're in between zero and one. So we went down quite, we went like down three quarters. Yeah, yeah. So let's come up to like a yep. little bit three three quarters or to one yep. and try that. Okay, let me just see something here. So they're spring loaded. Here, can you hold that light? Yeah. Oh, this is the CAD cell eye I'm talking about. Sometimes, here, put that on the CAD cell eye. If that eye gets, if that eye gets dirty with soot, yeah. It'll never see a flame. Sometimes you'll see that little eye there. And if it's dirty, you just go like that with your finger. And then, but the thing is, you gotta, if it's sooted up, you got to clean it. Yeah. See, the little eye goes right down the right tube. Right down there. Yeah. Down the tube. This is a tube that goes to the nozzle. Right. Okay. So that has to line up that right there. On an angle. Yeah. Yep. Try and bleed it out. I know there's oil. There's oil right to the pump. The setting for the air with the nozzle they specify should be at 5.2. Okay. So I don't know what that but means, but Paul, that's what Paulo just texted. That's way up. We're at like one. Okay, let me close that. 5.2, yeah. 
The air was restricted a bit much to reduce the flow of oil they were ha we were having because we had too much oil coming in. That's why it was restricted. 5.2, that's, that's way open. That's a lot of air. Really? Yep. So he went right on the model number. Oh, you got it right there? Yeah. Okay. That's five and a half, right? Is that? There we go. That's five and a half, so right about there. Five, two quarters. They had it just a little bit past one. All right, okay. we can try that then. Right. No, this time now for 90 seconds has been done 90 seconds, so. Fire. Yeah, they see. Actually, if we if we don't ruin the gasket, if we ruin the gasket, we will screw. Like if this breaks apart when we take this off, if we take out one, two, three, four, disconnect the oil line, the whole thing will come out, and then we can. Um, that's what I was going to change the nozzle, take the whole thing out. So I mean, you flip the transformer over, you can take the thing right out. But this is the Nissan. Well, one. you gotta. Wouldn't you have to take this off anyways if she's getting a new nozzle? Yes. So why why wouldn't we take it off now? And yep. then that way, if the filter gets ru or the if that gets ruined, the gasket, yeah. Yeah. we got time to order it because we don't have the other part anyways. Right. Anyway, yeah. Okay. So why not take it apart now instead of wait oh. and then we have to wait again? Would to... you? Would you take those four bolts off? Yeah. Go ahead. Um, um, let me see. Oil line. We got. I'm gonna just shut the oil off. And then we'll. That's I, the spring, right? Yeah. And then. Um, so, yeah, okay, so that's off now. So we have no oil there. Okay, good. I'll do this part. You got the oil on? Yep. So we disconnected the oil line. Yep. And we just put it up a little bit so it's not dripping. And now we're ready to take these four bolts off one, two, and there's two on the bottom. And the whole burner should slide right out to where we can look at the uh, electrodes in the nozzle. All right. Those. I have a Beckett burner. I was trying to think of the name of the Washers. Okay, my turn. Let me get over there. All right. Okay, why does it still feel solid? Yeah. Let me take a look over there. There we go. I got it. Okay. Look at that. Oh, that's full of carbon and soot. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Look at that. That's actually. Yeah, that's not good. Um, here, let's look down the tube. What do we got for it? Oh my god. Look at this. So, uh, there's the nozzle. Yep, I'd say that that's all carbon up, huh? Does this come off? I gotta, I'm going to just go get gloves, huh? There's the nozzle. Yeah. Look at that fucking thing. Oh, I should be able to. You got gloves? The pins are all plugged up. So we need like a, watch, a wire brush so that, to open this up and change that nozzle. If, look at that. Uh, yeah, but see, it's going to be plugged. That's got to come out. So how do we get it out? <laughs> um, socket set. We'll take this off so the plate can come off. And then I have my wrenches, to, two wrenches to twist off the nozzle. Yep, this I'm like walking it off. What's this gonna do for us? It's gonna give us access to that. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I don't oh. think it's gonna be able to come off the way that is. Um, okay. Yeah. Wow, that burn off. 
We're gonna have to pliers. bend those back with some pliers. Yeah. Hey. This is one piece. Can you see? One piece. It's one piece. Oh, you got two going down into it. Yep. Yeah. Another side, and then two here. I think it's just the, the one here. Yep, that's good. Just one. Oh, there's supposed to be four. This one guy didn't put it together right. See, well, no, no, those are the two not... I just took out. Oh, okay. And then that's not a uh, holder there. That's a post. Yeah. Okay, so those nuts are over there. Bolts are over Bolts there. Bolts are over there. Like All right, so yeah. we can look at that thing. All right. Uh, now, is this something you can spray down with carb cleaner or no? Well, the nozzle. Brake, nozzle, brake cleaner? The, you could, absolutely you could, but... Um, the nozzle is plugged on the inside, so if you do that, you're only cleaning the outside. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's there's a filter. There's a little filter inside this nozzle. But... Yeah. All right. Want to spray it off so we can see what we're looking at? Yeah. Um. Looks like you'll need a wrench. Open end wrench. That's right. Yeah. I, yeah. There you go. Yeah. There's the nozzle. All right. Now, very carefully, you got to go in with the open end wrench and twist that nozzle. We can't bend these electrodes. Yeah. They're they're gapped. They're gapped like an eighth of an inch or so. They have a gap. Yeah. And we don't want to mess with that gap because uh, that's set factory set. Okay. And these are like, so we got to get that run nozzle out of there. Clean those off a little more, right? Yeah. They're shiny. Here, give me that. I want to get this side too. A lot of soot and stuff on this. Yeah, watch this side. I was trying to get this with a wire brush. Look it over here. Watch this. Oh, yeah. There you go. Okay. All right. All right. Um, open end wrench. Yeah, you, you got that. Yeah, that'll work good. See, these are supposed to be open. They're plugged up. See, like this one? Oh, they're slotted. Yeah, do you, they're slotted. But they're see they're on an angle. Yeah. Yeah, see right there? They ha they all have to, they're all plugged up. So anyways, we gotta get an open end wrench in here. Let me just see something here. Carefully, probably from the bottom. Do a little vacuuming, put all this back together, and put the burner back in. Um, we can clean that nozzle as best we can. Try firing it up? Yeah, I don't, you know, because we got this all clean. Yeah. This is clean. You know, we did clean some stuff. Ooh, this still has to be clean. All these things have to be, all that, oh, I can see. Yeah. So that's gonna help. Yeah. Now what do we do? Power yeah. in. Let's bleed it out. Okay, yep. Yeah. I'll hook that back up. Should be open. Okay. Okay. Um, power. Oil time. Yep. Ready. seconds oh boy. can I open this uh, no no it has to be closed when it's not running and then you, and then you open it with your fingertips okay. when it's running and if you see solid oil you close it quick and it should fire
shut it right now. Could be clogged back in here somewhere? No. no. I mean, because this should, should be able to turn that and get oil out, right? Well, and now it goes into a suction when it's off. That's why you got to shut it. So we can't shut the electric off and then just open this and let it no, gravity? No, the pump has to pull. Oh, gravity? Maybe. Um, what happens if you open it right now? Well, that's what I'm asking you. Error. That'll twist right out of there, you know. But you got to be able to put it back in in a hurry. That's what I mean. It should be. Yeah. You should have. Actually, hang on a second. Let me do this. That's open right now. Okay. So, and you're open over there, right? Let's see if this does anything. Would you lift it up and down? Yeah. yeah. Trying to like pump it. Okay. So, yeah. pump it. There we go. Now it's doing it. Some of that air will go right into the tube and blow out. Yeah. Like I said, any tiny air bubble will blow through it. As long as it's firing. <clears throat> I'll tighten that up and hit the button. We didn't have that there before. That could be finger tight also. I'd say it's coming out good now. Yeah. Might fire. Might fire. Here we go. Test. Readjust the air too. Staying on a lot longer. Should this this is this is gonna there's a setting in, in the boiler yeah it's usually set at 160 degrees and that is in the controls you don't gotta worry about that uh, I think we did something here. I think something is much better you know just the shit that's built up here yeah. you know I'll tell you something if that cat cell I can't see a plane because of all that shit there when we, we took off, yeah. it, it'll kick off. So now the cat's eye sees a plane and it stays running. I hope so. These guys, this week it's going to be cold at night. It's going to be uh, 40s at night and 60 in the night and 60 a.m. all week. Wow. I like it. Is it supposed to call this long? It's going to does she even have it on upstairs though, too? Right? Yes, she has it on. She's at 88 degrees. But she didn't turn it back off? No, we want it to run. I know. When she she didn't just turn it back off when we okay, we're done. I hope so. No, because it's calling for heat. Is that what it's doing right it's now? It's calling for heat, so she's still got it up. Now what she calls for heat, the little circulator over there, that little taco circulator, the little green thing. That little green thing with yeah. the taco circulator pump. Yeah, now right now that is on. And it's pushing water through the whole building and coming back on the return. So it, now it's got to heat up all the water all around the house, and then it comes back. And then when, it, when the water hits 160 degrees, that's a normal setting, 160. And the burner will shut off. So this is actually working right now. This is working right now. It's um actually. Is there any gauges here? You know when they did this. Oh, here we go right here. Let's see a gauge. Got a gauge. I like gauges. I like gauges and the shutoff. I mean, right now the water is cold, so it's probably not any good. Am I reading the bottom or the top? The red. The bottom, the top. The top. Probably still at zero, right? The top is 
It's just like a coating, because I've seen soap where it's in chunks. Yeah, um, so it's coated so this right is now. Just, it's just coated. Oh, actually, let me see. I think we made it. Good. The pressure is, it's going up now. It's at 30. The red one. The red one. Yeah, yeah see, so that's going is, up. This is a, they got pressure redu reducing valves. Oh yeah, that's definitely warming up. This one's warm, this one's still a little bit cold. We have an expansion tank, zone valve. This is a, a valve that uh, reduces the street pressure to probably uh, 30 pounds. It reduces street pressure. Yeah, for in the house. Wow, it's moving, it's going up. I think it's burning up. Yep. Can you hear it? Yeah, I know. I just know it's gonna turn off. Yeah, just leave it at 88. We want to heat up the water. Yeah, should I turn the, the heat on upstairs too? On the second floor? You have another thermostat upstairs? Yeah, turn it on. Okay. We want to heat up the whole room okay. before we leave. You can't say goodbye without saying goodbye to me. All right, Olaf. We'll see you on the next one. All right, bye, Obo. Bye, guys.